Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha Shri Chaitanya Manobishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Uttapada Kamalam Shri Guru and Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagajatam Sahagana Raghunatam Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamscha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sutta Devi Pranamami Hari Piyay Vanchagalpata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhubya Evacha Patita Nampa Venebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mukam Karoti Vachalam Pangum Nangaiti Kirim, Yat Kripa Atamaham Vande Shri Guru Dinatayana, Paramananda Madhavam Shri Chaitanya Ishwaram. Hare Krishna. I'm very happy to be with you today, even though it's virtual. I was uh, requested by His Grace Hemanga Gopal Prabhu to give a class. Uh, he did not give a topic, and so I decided that I will speak on the topic of Srila Prabhupada being the powerhouse of our faith. So we are all in the Hare Krishna movement because of the great mercy of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is not standing alone. Evam parampara praptam imam rajasayo vidu sakale neha mahata yogo nasta parantapa. He is representing the disciplic succession. And this disciplic succession is a chain of teachers who are empowered to be transparent via mediums of the transcendental knowledge coming from the Supreme Lord Krishna himself. Krishna is the source of all knowledge, the knower of all knowledge. And Krishna has said, Vedaischa Savai Aham Eva Vedyo, Vedanta Krit Veda Vid Eva Chaham. By all knowledge, by all Vedanta, Veda means knowledge. I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of Vedanta and I am the knower of the Veda. So one may want to understand there's so much knowledge in the world. What is this special feature of this knowledge that Srila Prabhupada has given? It is very special and Prabhupada highlighted this in a statement which may seem critical, but he was observing that in the big universities of the world, there seems to be no department which is discussing the difference between a living body and a dead body. Prabhupada highlighted that without the living force, then the body is useless and in many cultures it is buried, burned, or thrown in the forest. So the living force is the actual active principle in this material world. And it is actually the most important aspect of 
the combination of matter and spirit. And the highlight of Krishna consciousness and what Srila Prabhupada has brought is this knowledge that the body is doomed to die because it is already dead, it is made of matter. But then the consciousness, the soul, never was there time, it did not exist, nor will there be a time in future where it ceases to be. The soul is eternal and primeval. And this aspect is what is missing in the knowledge systems of the world in mature education. Knowledge of who we are, what is our eternal constitution. And because we miss out on knowledge of our eternality, then we are practically investing in a scheme which is doomed to fail. If we were told that this particular business will go under in a year or two, and don't worry though, put all your money into this business and it will be profitable for you. Would any of us take that investment? I hope not. Generally, anyone who's sober will think twice and ultimately reject such an offer. That why do I put all my life savings into a business that is uh, forecasted to fail? So the mature body, by its constitution, has a beginning, birth, and it stays for some time. It produces some byproducts. It dwindles and then ultimately it vanishes. It dies. As we mentioned, the destinations of fire consuming it, the earth swallowing it up and therefore the worms eating it up. And also sometimes in some cultures it is tossed in the forest and the animals eat it and pass it out as stew. So this message is so that we can have a clear understanding of what is temporary and what is eternal. What is transient and what will endure. And who am I and what am I not? So when I know who I am, when I know my nature is an eternal nature, then I can begin to invest in that which is truly benefiting me. And only then can I be able to realize the deepest desires of my heart. In this world, no one can deny the desire for love, the desire for happiness, for knowledge. Ultimately, everyone is interested in removing suffering and ushering unending happiness. But because of a lack of knowledge, then we are investing in happiness, in joy, in a world which is meant for the opposite. Krishna has mentioned Dukalayam Ashashwatam. Dukala. It is an alayam, a place of dukkha, of pain, of suffering, of anxiety. And not only that, it is also a temporary place. So without clarity of that type of knowledge, then what are we doing? Humanity is investing so much time and energy in creating sukalayam, making this temporary world a place of happiness. It's temporary, ashashutam, but we are trying to make it nityam, an eternal permanent place. And we're trying to make it a happy place, but it is designed uh, to be a place of suffering. So Srila Prabhupada has come and spoken such knowledge in very clear terms with great boldness and authority from the scriptures so that he can break our faith in materialistic existence. 
You see, first we have faith that by exerting my senses into the world, I will find happiness. And I will increase my happiness if I make alliances with similarly minded persons. But that faith will prove itself to be fruitless. And so it is necessary for the pure devotee of God to come and break that faith. So that once that faith in making Dukalayam, Sukalayam, has been broken, then we can focus on how to actually enter the realm of real knowledge, real happiness, and permanent life. So Srila Prabhupada then has brought that faith in the spiritual existence, the faith to understand that I should not invest in the temporary. And above and beyond that, he has brought knowledge of God. Who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Most cultures, especially we come from the Judeo-Christian culture, we've heard about God, we've heard about the Kingdom of God, but it is not all clear. Now Prabhupada has come and basically with a big zoom lens has created focus for us on the face of the person famous as God. What is his actual name? Krishna. His nickname is Kaneya. This Krishna means the all attractive person. Ashwaryasya, Samagrasya, Viryasya, Yashashashriya, Jnana Varagyas Chaiva. Sanam Bina Itangana, he has six opulences which make him attractive. He is full of all knowledge, he is full of all strength, of all fame, he is full of all renunciation, beauty. And in this way, Krishna, from whatever direction we look at him, is all attractive. So he has told us, Jivera Sarupa Hoi Krishna Ranitya Das. We are eternally in a relationship with this ultimate person, Krishna, and it's a relationship of loving servitorship. So while living in this world, we start to establish a connection with our eternal home. Srila Prabhupada has brought the spiritual world before our eyes. He commissioned many of his disciples to paint pictures as is described in the scriptures, the Bhagavatam, the Vedas, of the Supreme Lord, his associates, the descriptions of Vrindavan, the spiritual world of Vaikuntha are given there. And in this way, Prabhupada said, these paintings in our movement are like windows to the spiritual sky. He has brought such a faith that even children are able to teach the absolute truth. The example is little Sarasvati, the daughter of uh, I think it was Sara was uh, Shamasunda. She would go to grown ups and pull and say, Do you know who Krishna is? And the person would say, no. And they'd say, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So giving absolute truth, giving that knowledge, which after many, many births and deaths, Bhavanam Janmanam Ante Gyanavan Mampapadete. 
Vasudeva Savamiti Samahatma Sudulava. After many births and deaths, it's very rare to find that one Mahatma, that great soul, who understands that Vasudeva Savamiti, that Vasudev Krishna is everything. So Prabhupada has brought that faith that we can easily point out to anyone, this is Krishna. Some very, very intimate knowledge of Krishna's personal existence as described in the Shastra, Srila Prabhupada has brought to us, how he played as a child, how he stole butter, how he was crawling in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj, how he killed different demons. So from hearing from the pure devotee who is basing what he's teaching from the Shastra and from the Guru Parampara, he has transmitted faith into our hearts that we now believe it and accept it. And in fact, we are propagating and teaching it to others. So the pure devotee has that power of attorney to give Krishna to others. To give Krishna to others. Without that empowerment from the Lord, no one can spread the glories of Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada has planted that seed and watered it in his own disciples who have taken it out into the world and now this generation after generation that will come and also receive Krishna consciousness. One of our devotees was at a vegetable market just on a Sunday out to buy some vegetables. And there was a Christian preacher who was preaching the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ and saying that we have to find God we have to find God. And this child went up to the preacher and said, Oh, you want to find God? But if you want to find God, you can just come to our house. He's in our house. So the child could understand. The parents every day are worshipping Radha and Krishna at home. And she understood that this is the Lord. And the Lord is living with them in their home. And she immediately wanted to tell the preacher man who was talking about finding God that, oh, if you're looking for him, he's at our house. So this is transcendental faith that is given to us by the potency of the pure devotee. That Chila Prabhupada established deity worship across the planet, especially in the Western world, the Abrahamic religions, they tend to speak strongly against deity worship, calling it idol worship. And Prabhupada was able to establish the worship of the deity in the Western world. Because of his unflinching faith and realization of the existence of Krishna and him being empowered personality in Parampara, he could transmit that faith to us. Srila Prabhupada has also contributed to the world in such an immense way through his literatures, the books. Therefore, Srila Prabhupada said, I have picked up this book business, writing books, publishing books, distributing books for my Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, who had expressed intimately to Prabhupada, our Srila Prabhupada, that after building this temple in Bag Bazaar with all its marbles and it has only created friction, the disciples are fighting who will occupy this room, who will occupy that room. He said, I wish I could strip all the marble off this temple, sell it, and with that money print some books. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had picked up this transcendental business 
from his own father, Shila Bakimino Taku. It is coming in our parampara. The six Goswamis of Vrindavan, although they lived under trees in Vrindavan, uh, they were always absorbed in discussing Krishna, in scrutinizing, studying the scriptures, writing the essence. Nana Shastra Vicharana Ikanipuno Sat Dhamma Samstapako Loka Nam Hitakarino Tribhuvane Manyo Sharanyakaro Loka Nam Hitakarino For the benefit of all the people of the world. They've studied Nana Shastra, so many Shastras, and they've extracted from them the essence. And that essence is that within the core of our heart, the soul, who doesn't belong in this world, has a dormant loving relationship with Krishna. And that loving relationship has to be awakened in relation to devotional service, which is Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Dasyam, Achanam, Vandanam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam, hearing, chanting, and remembering, worshipping the Lord. In this way, the essence of the Vedic knowledge has been crystallized in Parampara. And Srila Prabhupada has transmitted that. And therefore, he started the Bhaktivedanta Book Trust, the BBT, to publish the books. Srila Prabhupada even is a Vanaprastha. He was distributing books in the heat of Delhi. He's back to God at magazine. Even before going to America, he had written and printed at least the first canto, few volumes of the Srimad Bhagavatam. So within these books is the message of Krishna, how to perform devotional service. And it's the transmission of faith in the truth of the existence of our loving relationship with Krishna, knowledge of this material world we live in, how it is oppressing us and giving us suffering. And so Srila Prabhupada uh, said that as Guru Maharaj wanted the books to be printed, he called the printing press the Briyat Midanga. Midanga we all know, we can play within the temple on the streets, it can be heard uh, a few blocks. But this Briyat Midanga, the big drum, the printing press, the books, they can go everywhere, all over the world. And they can be heard by all sorts of people. In this regard, we hear how some many years ago, His Holiness Giriraj Swami, he was the first Western disciple of Srila Prabhupada to travel to Nigeria in West Africa to preach. And he was out on the streets doing Harinam, and he met some people and he thought to show them books and they said, hey, we know these books. Uh, we've read these books. He was shocked. How do you know about Hare Krishna? How do you know about uh, Srila Prabhupada? And they told him that a friend of theirs had been living in London and he had received the books while he was in London and he had brought them back to Nigeria. And they had read something about Srila Prabhupada and the Hare Krishna mantra. In fact, it is said how in Venezuela, a similar situation, persons who had received books elsewhere in the world went back to Venezuela and shared the books with their friends. And from just reading those books, the Krishna consciousness movement began. People started to chant Hare Krishna. Uh, to follow the four regulative principles to the point where they themselves had to invite Srila Prabhupada to come in person. So he's coming to preach after the books had already been preaching and had created devotees. This is the power of the books. 
Therefore, Prabhupada wanted us to distribute books more and more because they carry that power of Krishna and the whole disciplic line and they create the faith needed to begin devotional service which will uncover love of God which will ultimately liberate us from this Dukalaya Mashashwata. So Srila Prabhupada said my Guru Maharaj was pushing that these books go out. So that is why I'm also pushing. I am pushing. Just like the train, he said. It is so many compartments connected together and each one is hooked to the next and the first one is pulling and pushing. So each cart is pushing on the other. So in this way, we are saying that it is the greatest welfare work if we distribute Srila Prabhupada's books which are carrying the message of the transcendental world, which will create greater faith in human society about spiritual life, which is genuine and which is potent. Uh, in these books we hear of the Yuga Dharma, which is Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevanam, Kalo Nasteva, Nasteva, Nasteva Gatiyanyata. No other way, no other way, no other way, except the chanting of the Holy Name, chanting of the Holy Name, chanting of the Holy Name. So the books are the basis, and from the books we can follow the path of awakening Krishna consciousness. It is said, Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema, it is always there in the heart of every living being. Krishna Prema, love of God is there. But it needs to be awakened. How? Shravanadi Shuddha Chite Korai Udai. Beginning with hearing Shravanam, Adi, Kirtanam, Smaranam, like that beginning with this hearing and these books are a form of hearing when people read them we have our experiences i'm sure all of you have your experiences that when you read the books of Srila Prabhupada and then a cloud of ignorance was removed and a light of knowledge came that our convictions in life changed we had the strength to go against certain aspects of our conditioning and we have moved from platforms of suffering to platforms of greater auspiciousness and happiness in bhakti. So in closing, I wanted to just share that we have to stay close to Srila Prabhupada here his books, hear his lectures, and commit ourselves to helping him to push forward the desire of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the Parampara. And one major way is that we distribute the literatures, which Prabhupada spent many, many, many hours of the night translating and selecting the right words to transmit this message. So thank you so much for giving an ear and I wish that soon we may all be together in Kirtan and we can hear face to face. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Gaur Premanande Hare Krishna.